Thanks very much for your time and for seeing us. I mean, you've had uh, spectacular half-year results. Mm. But one of the underlying themes is that you're going to go through a fairly large organizational restructuring, mm. quite a lot of costs associated with, with a big prize of sort of three billion in sustainable savings. Mm. Can you talk about why that was necessary, how it's being carried out, and what the uh, organization is going to look like post that event? Okay. Thanks, Terence. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, it's been an interesting, interesting six months uh, and a very busy one. Uh, and we are pleased with the results now. In terms of our business performance enhancement program, um, some time ago we, we started to talk about the fact that we really needed to structurally look at the way uh, SASL runs. Uh, our costs for the last five or six years have been way in excess of, of, of inflation. And and as a consequence, even though we've got good results at the moment, if we don't do something about our cost base and about our inflation, uh, it'll erode into our performance going forward. So, so that's why we very consciously and deliberately um, launched the uh, Business Performance Enhancement Program, as we call it, in order to address that and arrest that trend in, in cash fix costs. Um, and, and the quantum, as, as you've, you've noted, is, is at least 3 billion rand. We think we'll be able to achieve uh, more than that um, and, and that we, we're designing for that to be sustainable going forward. Um, the way we've done that is we, we started off with a diagnostic phase about 12 months ago now, nearly just over 12 months, uh, confirmed our what we already suspected that there was an opportunity, um, but it comes with, with a lot of hard work in terms of redesigning the model, really. We've, we've done cost improvement type programs before that have been successful or marginally successful, but this time around we really believe that we need to fundamentally change the operating model for, for us to be able to, to make a difference and to structurally change uh, the cost base that we have. Um, going forward. So we engaged with, with some external support uh, early last year, but it's largely a SASL driven project where we have our own people in various teams. We have uh, seven or eight or nine different streams that are looking at different parts of, of, of SASL and, and how we can then extract value um, and improvement in those different streams. And this new era starts from <coughs> July 1 this year. And what will the organization look like with, and what will it mean for people here? Hmm. Okay, so, so a big chunk uh, uh, of the, the enhancement program is changing the operating model. A big, big important drive will, will then kick in on the 1st of July when the new operating model kicks in. Um, as we've indicated in the past, we, we're moving away from, from multiple business units, looking at product, uh, products essentially, to, to really three focus areas. So upstream, or what we call operating business units, which will really be mining and then SPI. Uh, and then in the middle of, of the value chain, if you like, the operations, where regional operating hubs ha have been and will be formed. Uh, and then we've got what we call strategic business units that, that are the market-facing part of the organization. So, so I, I often talk about uh, moving to a buy-make-sell model, uh, and that enables us to, to simplify and standardize, particularly in the regional hubs. So in South Africa, for example, all the operations outside of mining will, will be in, in one regional entity and will be able to standardize significantly. Um, also, as part of that, one of the streams looks at group functions, at optimizing and, and simplifying the way we do business. Uh, and, and that's also a big, uh, one, one of the sources of, of where, where the savings will come from. So, so the organization will look different. We, we're reducing across all management layers in terms of the, the, the things like spans of control we're looking at and, and trying to flatten and simplify the structure. Um, quite a, an important part of all of this is, is also, uh, as we noted in the presentation, is reducing and simplifying the decision-making processes in the group, which over many years have grown uh, as the company's grown and and, um, and we just believe there's a, a real opportunity to make those simpler, um, to, to improve on, on, on our ability to make decisions effectively and quickly. Uh, and obviously it also saves, saves quite a lot of time in the process as well. Um, so it's about a refocus on, on what we do. Um, I often like to reflect on the fact that what we're doing is, is meant to be and is designed to be systematic and purposeful. Uh, it's not a fire sale, so it's not going to happen within six months. Uh, and as Nolita said in, in, the, in the presentation, it's really a three-year transition period. 
Um, you asked about the costs. So, so the cost for this year, we, we anticipate, will be in the region of about 1.2 billion. Uh, and as we noted as well, we, we're still finalizing the total cost of the program, uh, and the cost will run over a three-year period, uh, the implementation phase, if you like, uh, after which we should we should see the, the at least 3 billion rand saving, and, and then it's being designed to ensure that it's sustainable. And the people impact? Um, we, we haven't, uh, and we don't uh, talk about the, the, the numbers in terms of account, but surely there will be a people impact. We, we, we're expecting the organization to look different, to work differently, and to function differently. Um, and and, uh, and we'll, we'll deal with the people impact uh, effectively, uh, and as David said, with, with, with due regard to, to really uh, looking after our people as well.